My name is Carl Bokqvist. I'm the responsible analyst from ABG Sundal Collier covering VBG. Uh, we are happy to have a CEO Anders Birgesson here today and uh, we will have a presentation followed by some Q&A from my end. So with that I leave it over to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can you hear me loud and clear? Very good. Uh, Anders Birgersson. Yes, I've been um, the chief executive uh, of VBG Group since 2001, so I'm uh, on my 19th year now. Uh, and uh, I have, uh, in the beginning, I'm, uh, my background is entirely within the uh, engineering manufacturing industry. Uh, background in, in uh, welding, ESUB, uh, SKF and ABB from the very beginning. Uh, and it suits me uh, very good also to continue for 18 years in VBG. But uh, that's a little bit about myself. A VBG is a publicly traded uh, and listed, of course, since 1987. So a long time on, on, the, uh, uh, on the stock exchange. Uh, comprises four divisions. They can also be uh, viewed as, you could say, subgroups, not from a legal point of view, but fairly independent when, when they run their businesses. Um, and... Um, we have our background uh, and, and uh, location is uh, from the beginning in Vänersborg, where we also uh, and we have a head office in Trollhättan. But uh, the um, division management teams is spread outside, basically in, in other places. Um, we are active with our own entities in 18 countries, and uh, among the 1,600 employees, I guess that 200 is is uh, working in in Sweden. Um, and. Herman Crafting was the first managing director, and I'm the third since 1951. So I would say that VBG Group is have a long-term perspective. I think it also uh, shows really that, that uh, not many uh, chief executives over these 65, what is it, uh, plus years. Uh, divisions, yeah, four divisions. And you could say that uh, three to the left from your side is related to vehicles, for those of you who don't know here. And uh, truck, trailer and mobile climate control is heating, ventilation and air conditioning for mobile vehicles or for vehicles. Uh, but not cars and automotive, not really for trucks, but for vehicles built in smaller series on, on a year. So it's, it's more customized solutions. And ring fed power transmission represented by an Airbus, I think it is. I hope it's not a, a, a 737 uh, MAX. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, is anything but, you could say, vehicles. But it seems it is also that ring fed power transmission have a few customers also, and it's Airbus and Boeing. They deliver components, but it's components for, for transfer of mechanical power and torque. Uh, you find our customers are the same, basically, say, on a smaller base like SKF Industrial Division. So you find it in a, in a completely another sector besides the vehicle. Uh, head offices of the um, group is in Trollhättan, Sweden, and Vänersborg. The origin of the VBG trailer coupling is still located with the one and only factory for that purpose in Vänersborg, exporting to the rest of the world. But we have also two uh, management division management in located in Germany, outside Düsseldorf in Mörs and uh, outside uh, Frankfurt in Grossumstadt for ring fed power transmission. And Toronto, by far the largest division, they have their uh, management division management located basically in Toronto or, or also you could say a little bit uh, some key persons are also located in Europe but basically the head office is located in and here you can see also with the little bit dark gray areas is areas or countries where we operate our own entities and uh, the uh, more beige one is where we are represented by by distributors or importers, and in some cases maybe some some agents, say agents, but mostly uh, importers and, and um, distributors. <coughs> Uh, for the group, you can see that the origin was Sweden, and uh, today uh, it's, it's uh, still uh, very much, you could say, that the Nordics is representing some 13%. From the beginning, it was a Swedish company going into the Nordics, and later on into the continental Europe, whereas also Germany is, is uh, and, and was and is still an important country. But... Um, um, yeah, and the other European countries. You can see that some 45% of the turnover is in, in Europe. 
uh, whereas also uh, closer to 50% is North American market, uh, USA and of course, but also Canada. And outside that rest of the world, as we say, some less than 10%. And four years ago, we were mainly dominated by the European business. Almost three years ago, we uh, acquired mobile climate control with its bulk of business in North American market. So here we leveled a little bit the presence from uh, focused in Europe over to two biggest regions, uh, North America and Europe. A very strong foothold for going further international. So in, in short term, of course, it dilutes the, the fraction and percentage of the, the rest of world business. But this is the focus for the future. With the cash generation from, also from Europe and from North America, it gives another strength financially also to go internationally into areas like Brazil, like China and India. Um, and you can see uh, VBG truck equipment and uh, the smaller agile trailer, only 7% of the business and, ring uh, and mobile climate control represents a little bit more than 50% and ring fed power transmission. <coughs> but also VBG truck equipment, the profit margin in operating profit is, is, uh, gives a sort of the, the same profit almost like the, this business does. So it, it's a little bit shifting the profit margin and it has a little bit to do also with, of course, the competitive landscape. But all in all, uh, sometimes we are regarded as a sub-supplier to the automotive industry. And I would say that it's not, r uh, uh, it's not entirely wrong, but it's not right. Because what we supply, and I will show you later on, is our own design developed components or system of components that we supply to parts of the supply chain of the uh, vehicle industry. But being regarded as a truck uh, supplier, sub-supplier in Sweden with our trailer couplings, I can tell you that, that less than 10% of the turnover of the VBG group is delivered directly to the truck OEM builders. 90% is supplied to others in supply industry or outside. The, so I think it's sometimes we are referred as just a, a, a truck uh, sub-supplier. <coughs> yeah, a quick glance into it. Truck equipment, connecting the truck with the trailer or having automatic tire change, I will show you a small picture, uh, to uh, utility vehicles, uh, fire uh, truck or so here, um, or a distribution truck on, on the hill over there. <coughs> and you can see also with Edsha trailer system is bodybuilding equipment for trailers, also related to another type of, of uh, truck application, but also supplies to the railway industry. Whereas the mobile climate control, heating, ventilation and air conditioning for mobile purposes, vehicles. And here you can say the big sector or uh, segment is buses, but also to off-road vehicles or to construction vehicles. And a little bit an overlap with the um, utility vehicles that you can find on VBG uh, truck equipment as well. Ring fed power transmission is basically outside the, the vehicles. And this is components, and, and to, to express it easily, uh, you can see here this represents the hydropower station with a hydropower turbine. In order to connect the turbine with an axle that goes into the generator, our component is the one that is clamping the, the uh, turbine to the shaft. So this is our is sort of a very special niche and similar applications for smaller and bigger purposes. Can be in, in equipments for, for uh, uh, this type or hoist or, or crane application where you need to convey some mechanical torque from a, from a, a, a pulley to a, a shaft. <coughs> By that, if I look a little bit deeper into it, and um, VBD truck equipment, and what is an internationally leading supplier of coupling equipment to trucks to and, and, and heavy trailers. Yeah, we are in that niche where we operate with our, our typical product offer. We are uh, number one. We have a market share of plus 50% in that segment. And our closest competitor is around about some 25%. So, so in that we have, a, you could say, really a dominant uh, position. And sometimes it makes life a little bit easier. On the other hand, the demands on, on a dominant player is also to always deliver top-notch uh, uh, 
um, uh, services and high quality, of course. So, so it can be a, a big fault to make if you not, do not meet the customer's expectations. Um, and here you see basically three types of combination of, of trucks, heavy trucks. And VBG truck equipment is focusing solely on this type of, of connection in between here. We used to have for that type of vehicle, which is in Europe, I would say, more than 50% of the, the vehicles going on, on, on the road. In North America, 90% of the vehicles is, is roughly that type of vehicle. It, it's a difference depending on the type of delivery pattern, and you know all about the, the big uh, stores and, and, and uh, supermarkets that you have in the US, maybe if you have been there. But this is a special niche. However, it's big enough also, and, and where we are the dominant player. This is more a symbolic build of, of what type of equipment or system that we can supply. And the, the largest uh, buyers here are the uh, chassis bodybuilders that take care of the truck chassis after it leaves the, the uh, truck's uh, assembly line. So no, our major customers is not the big OEMs, it's rather smaller companies that, that uh, build the finished vehicles. And here you see uh, automatic tire chain. Uh, uh, nice little uh, f thing that, that momentarily can run just by a push in, in the cabin on a button. You can have an instant snow chain effect. And this is also a small niche uh, with a low penetration in the world market where we are a dominant player. So I think it, it really goes that, that having a leading position. Over the years you can see that we are close to one billion now in sales. And um, it has been a, a strong performance over many years with a, a stable and strong profitability. Uh, for the last second quarter and, and the last uh, first half year, six months, we recorded um, uh, more than 20% in operating margin, in operating EBIT to sales. And, and uh, so it, it's a um, strong profit. But you can also see here that uh, here Sweden and Nordics is more dominant and even uh, Europe is, is very much more dominant. It's, it's more than 75% of the business. Whereas North America is not really trucks, it's rather the automatic tire chains to buses, to utility vehicles and some trucks. So our exposure to the truck business or, the, or the trucks in, in US is fairly small. We are big in buses. So I think also we read the, the uh, Dogus industry, the industry newspaper said also that there is a declining business of, of truck industry in the US. Very small impact for VBG on, on a total. On the other hand, European and rest of the world has impact for us in trucks. I think that maybe not a too well-known uh, situation for, for many smaller investors maybe. And we are going abroad and you can see also that Australia and New Zealand is 7%, but an extremely good market and, and with, with high uh, good prices and good profit. And we are now expanding into China and rest of the world. So, so China and rest of the world is basically, uh, it's China and Brazil, you could say, and some, some other uh, smaller markets. Ultra trailer system, what do they do? This is what they specialize on. This type of trailer, curtain-sided trailer with the sliding roof, is 30% of all the semi-trailers in Europe are this type of standard trailers. It's a volume trailer, and we're the specialist for that. We have some 40% of the market share of that type of application. We also, if you put the canvas on top of that, you have some kind of sliding uh, roof system as well. So occasionally we have now and then, not every year, but for a couple of years, we have tenders where we supply also to the railway uh, car industry. And you can see also focus on the, on the rigid uh, truck and the full uh, trailer. This is a little bit more to that type of vehicle. So we would not like to entirely lose that area since we do not supply anymore this type of, of coupling equipment. And to understand also this type of coupling equipment here is to 90% extent delivered directly to the big truck manufacturers. So it's a completely different, or not a completely, but a much more different business model where you find your customers of these type of, of, of connectors or couplings. However, the standardized uh, trailer business in Europe, and we are more uh, also dominant by, by German manufacturers, 
50% uh, of trail is uh, produced uh, for, for Europe is produced in, in Germany. Uh, and only half of what is produced in Germany stays in Germany. So uh, German market is extremely big. Much more volatile over the years. Um, what we see now is, is, is a drop in sales. And this is more of a correction of the inventory buildup of the trailer manufacturers. So short term it has been a uh, stop. I would say that less demand for the, for the rest of the year, maybe some 10%. But in the last couple of months or last quarter, we have an impact of some 25% down compared to the last year. But it's a correction of our customers' uh, inventory rather, but a slower market for the rest of the year also. Uh, mobile climate control. I think it's uh, most people who has has uh, listened or, or read about VBG or know about VBG uh, maybe doesn't know too much about mobile climate control. We acquired its business. Transaction was finished uh, 23rd of November 2016, and we acquired the business from Ratos, the investment company, from from. Uh, Stockholm here, um, and uh, as I said, HVAC system, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system. But basically, you can see also, yeah, we have buses, we have off-road vehicles, and uh, utility vehicles, and, and defense vehicles. And by saying also defense vehicles, it's, it's true transportation vehicles and not uh, any uh, vehicles with, with armors or arms on, uh, armor can they have it, but no weapons. And I think to understand also that, that heat HVAC is, of course, a big thing also for the automotive. But we do highly customized solutions to vehicles built in smaller volumes. If you go for cars, they are built, they are built in, in, in millions with a series of, of two, three, four uh, hundred thousand. Developed and tested and designed by the car manufacturers themselves. We do not even supply HVAC systems to the truck industry because still too big volumes and we cannot be a specialist, a provider of knowledge and, and, and this uh, vehicle. Here. So the smaller they are produced, the, you could say the more high customized, this is our speciality. But you can also see that in the higher volumes for the, this type of coupling, we have pulled out. We stay over here in VBG, so you can see that it's a relation of the business model from truck equipment also to mobile climate control. Customized solutions and, and uh, you could say lower volumes, but attractive higher margins than in the, in the big volume business. Typically, a system can be provided. If we can deliver this to a bus, we are more or less complete. Developed by ourselves. Compressors is something that we adopt, but maybe this is a component that we also buy from sub suppliers. But else, a lot of the other thing is designed and manufactured by mobile climate control. In some cases, just heating, in some cases, just air conditioning, but very often uh, the complete set. Was acquired from uh, Ratos 2016. One of the reasons for acquiring this business, which 2016 more or less doubled the size of the VBG group, um, is that the underlying growth for trucks and trailers, if you take for a 20-year period in Europe, is maybe some 1 or 2%. Um, if you go to China, where it also open up for, for a European type of trailer couplings now, of course, we, we are into a new game long term for the next 5, 10 years. But Europe as such is, is a small growth area. Um, but mobile climate control, buses, there are more persons who need to be transported than better roads. Also, the number of buses equipped with a full effective climate control system, higher penetration and a higher demand. On top of that, we also have electrification of this type of system, which also involves higher, um, high, more high-priced components. So there is a growth, you could say, in three dimensions compared to the more um, uh, slow-growing uh, uh, track market where we come from. And what we can see is that growth we have also obtained over the years with also a good outcome of the uh, EBITDA level. And, and we have grown with almost some, some double, of a double digit, but also some 20% in growth uh, over the years with a fairly constant uh, profit margin. 
The big bulk of the MCC offer is tours bus. Its uh, transit bus is one of the uh, in Swedish local traffic. Uh, but we also have coach buses, which you more in Europe ref refer to as tourist buses, big buses. But we also have small shuttle buses and, and even smaller bus vehicles. Another important sector is off-road, represented by here you can see a um, forest harvester. We have one, all of the biggest uh, manufacturers of, of these uh, harvesters as our, as our customers. Defense vehicles. The famous US Humvee, we are uh, delivering the HVAC system for, for many years. And on top of this, you have utility vehicles, and it can be uh, uh, maintenance cars for, for uh, power uh, industries or so, or represented by, by a fire trucker. One of the biggest customers are related to fire trucks over there. Ring the power transmission. Um, nothing to do with cars, but with boats. Now, hardly. You can see this, I think, is, is somewhere in Hamburg, in Germany. And you can see the big container cranes. Where there we supply some key components for the hoist machinery of, of uh, running the, the wires, where you connect the motor to the pulley, where you have the wire. So there we have. And you can see extremely high demand uh, operations with a, a mechanical uh, device that is developed and designed by ring feeder power, uh, power transmission. Also a small niche, a small company located for, for uh, small types of, of products. I, I should not be too, comp uh, too, too complex uh, talking about uh, a lot of engineering stuff, but you can see on the gray plates, you can see the type of components that we supply. And on the more colorful, you can see the application areas where we produce these pieces from some 25 millimeters in diameter up to a meter in diameter, depending on the... the um, and the sectors where we supply, you see to the left. So it's, it's a very, very wide industry segment with a small product niche offer. Strong growth over the years. Also, we have uh, acquisitions. And on top of that, a very good um, uh, development in profit. So all in all, um, I see that the the watch here is a little bit uh, running out. But I, I can go to, to finalize, I would say that our vision, we talked about that, uh, business contact. But I would say that these are the key strategic areas where we are focusing, has been for the last five to, to six, seven years, and still are where we focus our, our strategic efforts. Um, and outcome the last four, five years, average growth over a five-year period. Profit close to 12%, target is, is 12%, and we are moving to, uh, closer to that. So I would say all in all in a strong trade cycle, a very good outcome. We made a transformational acquisition in 2016. We have now set the new base for the next phase. We have uh, refinanced ourselves in June, so we are set for the next stage. That is continue also involve further acquisitions, I would say. Yeah. I have to stop here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so. The uh, first and perhaps the, uh, the only question from my end here would be, would be on growth. Um, yeah. As you said, we, uh, the, the expectation is for the European truck market perhaps to show some weakening next year. And if we look at VBG Group as a whole, as you mentioned, it's diversified. But do you expect that you could perhaps be able to grow next year despite the decline in the truck and trailer markets? Uh, yes, I think we can do, but of course, short term, you could say for the next uh, quarters or, or, or uh, two or three quarters, uh, a lot of things will depend also about the trade cycle, the cycle develops, for sure, always for, for a manufacturing engineering company. However, uh, in our, our strategic international activity portfolio, we also are pursuing acquisitions, and, and when acquisition can take place, is sometimes uh, tricky to say, but, but we have activities in pipeline, and we are working on that. So given that we can accomplish this and, and really finalize transactions, I think also that we can add on and that then we can maintain at least on this level and if there is a flattening out for this period and maybe uh, a soft landing are going, I think that we can maintain a growth. Mm. Not maybe on the 20% level that we have been for the last couple of three, four years, mm. but still meeting our targets of 5% organic growth 
over time, but also 5% by acquisition. That is a part of the game, definitely. Mm. And just a very quick final question then on what you said. When you say add-on acquisitions, which in, where, within which divisions do you think the potential is the highest? Yeah, absolutely, without doubt, that, that we focus on the uh, VBG truck equipment division where we can make some add-ons for the, for the truck business, but also for mobile climate control. And I think we still have opportunities to expand our operations in, in the field of off-road, I would say. Uh, th this is mainly where we are focusing right now. Any other ad hoc possibility can also be considered, but, but we are not pursuing them in, 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 in that way. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you for listening. <laughs>